So I wanted to talk to you about the Karpman Drama Triangle, which is a really simple model that helps us name unhelpful or self-limiting behaviours, gives us a perspective on those behaviours, then offers us the chance to stop and think about how we create alternatives for ourselves and others. So quite simply, there are three roles within the drama triangle. The first one is victim. This is not victimization, which is a real and significant and quite a poor place to be in. So playing the victim or being the victim is, um, I can't do that, I don't know where to start, it's too hard, I don't have the resources. It's about being negative, it's about being low energy. Secondly is the villain or the persecutor role. So this is high challenge, inappropriate challenge. So this is blame, criticism. Again, it's disempowering. It's making the assumption that somebody can't perform or won't perform. Um, so not helpful. And you can probably recognize in yourself when you're in the space of playing the villain or, villain or the persecutor. The third um, role, again, dynamic, you might move between these quite rapidly or it might take time or you might linger in one of these spaces, is the hero and rescuer. And, and this, can be, um, this can be a position that we as leaders find ourselves in. Uh, we have to have the answers, we have to have the resources, we don't want to say no, we want to suggest things, we might even want to take things from you. And in its worst state, the hero and rescuer can turn into a martyr. Give it to me, no one can do it like me, let me tell you what I think. So again, when you start unpacking what these look like, you can kind of recognise um, when you linger in these states. So none of these positions are positive, none of these positions allow us to perform and grow and they don't enable great individual or team performance. But the good news is that you can flick this triangle over. You can turn it over. So what would a victim look like if it was flicked over? It would look like a creator. So you move from, I can't do that, I won't do that, poor me, I don't know how to, to what if, what could I try, what would a first step be? who might help me, how might I help myself. So it's changing that internal dialogue and your external dialogue with people around you to be more positive, more empowering, more progressive. So what does a hero look like if we were to flip that? It turns into a coach. Coaching behavior would say, what's the first step? What do you think you could do? Who else could help? How far have you got? What would the first step be? How do you feel about that? What are your options? So we're enabling the person, possibly moving them from a victim or a villain state to start actually solving their own and others' problems. So you can see quite quickly that's just a much more positive state. And then finally, the villain or the persecutor, what happens to them when it's more positive? Well, they become the challenger. So challenge is still in there, but it comes from a place of positive intent. So rather than this isn't going to work, I'm not going to make this work, we can't make it work. What would it take to make this work? What if? What have we thought about? Have we thought about this? Is this the right thing to do? Should we do it now? So that's the drama triangle. So in use, it can be really helpful if a team is stuck or you're finding some conflict. Um, you can use this with yourself. Think about where am I sitting today? Where am I lingering? Um, you can use it with teams that are getting a little bit stuck. And really ask yourself the question, not how do you move around this triangle, but how do you move outside of it to become a creator, a coach or a challenger?